Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Shield. Today we'll be continuing on with our Pokemon adventure. There's been a big time jump. Uh, when the last episode or the last stream I did, we stopped by at Hullbury. And as you can see right now, I'm in a bridge. This is actually on my left. It's actually Motostoke already. And uh, last stream, we stopped at Hullbury. But in this stream... We're we've just stopped by uh, Motostoke again to challenge the fire gym leader, and we've already done the uh, water gym leader, as you can see. And the second Galar mine we've done through that because uh, I actually went out with my friends with a Pokemon party. We had a Pokemon party and played Pokemon Sword and Shield together, and you know <laughs> that stuff. Anyway, let's go back to Motostoke. I believe. Uh, I need to uh, go to the Pokemon Center first before proceeding to the uh, inn, which I believe we need to go to the inn. So yeah, uh, let's go to the Pokemon Center first. Alright, let's see. Oh, by the way, with my Pokemon, Pokemon update, this is our current team. We've got uh, Raboot, our Toxel has evolved into Toxtricity, our... Uh, what? Chutal has evolved to Dreadnought. I think we've done Dreadnought already. Then we have, have caught an Applin already, which is level 30. We've caught a Hatena as well. And of course, our Corvus Squire. Now, this is the team that I want to settle with for the whole adventure of the story. Because uh, these are the Pokemon I like. If you'll notice, all of them are from the... All of them are Generation 8 Pokemon, so... Uh, I would love to try them out since they're all new. Then after probably the story, that's where I'm going to build my battle team to battle with my friends and online and whatnot. And yeah, by the way, let's go uh, see what Pokemon have we caught new. We've got a Toxel, which I got from... Uh, I got from the surprise trade. As you can see, there's a FRE on the top, right? That's French, I believe. So this Toxel is French, and its name is Toxizap. We have our Tyrogue. By the way, uh, I, I was supposed to surprise trade it, but I found a way to lower the attack of this. And hopefully, uh, that would evolve our Tyrogue. So let's try it out now. So uh, now that Tyrogue is in our team, let's go to our back. Then, uh, at the berry section, there's a uh, lowering the attack. I think we need to lower the attack of our uh, Tyrogue. Because uh, the attack of our Tyrogue somehow gotten higher than the def defense. And we need them to be equal for it to evolve into a Hitmontop. As you can see there, attack 23, defense 22. We need the attack and defense to be the same. So, uh, how do we do this? Let me go to the bag and find that berry. That's here. Uh, uh, the Kelpsy Berry. A berry to, to be consumed by Pokemon. Using it on a Pokemon makes it more friendly but lowers its attack base points. So why don't we use this item on Tyrogue and let's see. Its attack uh, base points fell. Hopefully they're equal. Let's cross our fingers. Let's see the summary. Are they equal? Yes, they're equal. So that means we can evolve our Tyrogue. But uh, instead of leveling up, leveling up our Tyrogue on the wild, we have a rare candy. I think we have a rare candy. Uh, let's see. The new items, as you can see, got a lot of items. Here we go, rare candy. Let's give it to Tyrogue and evolve it. Let's see. Here we go. See, attack and defense are the same. There we go, still the same. Let's see. Let's evolve it. Now this should be a Hitmontop based on our based on the things that we had. There we go, a Hitmontop. Now we have all the uh, evolutions of Tyrogue. We've got Hitmontop now, and previously we had Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. So that's very nice and a new addition to our decks. Right. Oh, he's gonna learn Triple Kick. Let's do that. Let's forget a move. What? Uh, I guess we can remove the tackle. Oh, triple kick is 10, so that's 30? Mm, not much. Let's go with a helping hand. Let's 
delete that. Ta-da! Him on top forgot helping hand and it learned triple kick instead. Alright. There we go. Since we have that, let's uh put Hitman Top to our addition of our collect uh let's put Hitman Top, sorry. Let's put Hitman Top to our collection, not addition. I'm tired, it's late. But yeah, anyway, uh let's do that. Here we go. As you can see, this is uh this box is already full. We've got a new addition such as our Cher uh Cherubi evolved into Cherim. This one I got from a Wonder Trade, our Joltik. I surprise traded it, then it returned as Galvantula for some reason, and now it's uh, it's a Japanese Galvantula. Then we have a throw, which we caught, a stun fisk, a shuckle. Um our Dotler has evolved into our Beetle, by the way. As you can see, there we are. Wobbuffet. And our Wingull has been evolved into Pelipper. Deli Bird. Then Gastrodon, which is actually a new one. I caught a... Uh, what's the basic form of Gastrodon? I forgot. I think it's Shellos. Shellos, I caught. Then I evolved it into Gastrodon. Then our, um, our Drifloon is now Driftblim. Our Ninsada is now Ninjask and Shedinja. Our uh, Timber, I think it was Timber, is now Girder. Our Dewpider is now Araconid. And our, uh, what's the name of that Pokemon? Uh, Bunnelby is now Diggersby. Then we got a Mimikyu, a Japanese Mimikyu from a surprise trade. Then our Aracuda is now Barascuda, which I originally wanted this as my water, but I opted for Dreadnought instead. And here, we got a surprise trade. It was originally a Bronzor, then I used a uh, rare candy for it to evolve into a Bronzong because it's level 61 as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, we can put Hitman on top. Let's put him beside, you know, his bros. So Eldegoss will be moved. Let's move Eldegoss beside Bronzor. Or Bronzong, sorry. Alright, uh, let's get back. As you can see, I caught some of the Pokemons as well. Like, uh, our Tipple has evolved into Palpitoad. Then we have a Binacle. Our Clink is still here. A Gullet. A new Gullet. Then we've got a Noibat. Then what else is new? A uh, Baltoy. No, he's quite old. Oh, we got uh, an Impidim. A Japanese Impidim from a Surprise Trade as well. We got ourselves a Coughing. A Duskull. A Vanillite. And a Sandic, uh, no, it's not Sandiconda. It's a Silly Cobra, a Japanese Silly Cobra from Wonder, from Surprise Trade as well. I keep saying Wonder Trade, but uh, it's uh, from Surprise Trade. A Wimpod we caught, and I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Some of our Pokemon are still out in the uh, jobs. There's a lot of jobs that I put our Pokemon in, so. Yep. Uh, why don't we... I think we've healed already. Let's update our card so people can see that my team... That I have my team already. There we go. Let's print it out. Then... What can we sell? I think we can sell some stuff. There we go. Uh, we can sell two pearls. Uh, two stardusts. And a star piece. Because I need money. <laughs> I'm running out of items due to uh, training and evolving some Pokemon as well. Um, here we go. Uh, let's buy some... Ooh, we only have one revive. Let's buy two. Hopefully that'll be enough. And our potion. Let's buy ten potions. Then for our super potion, let's buy four. We have... A few to spare. I think we could buy one revive. 279. Uh, let's go for a po. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's buy a burn heal. I knew it. We're going for a fire gym and we don't even have burn heal. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Right. Going for the fire gym. Uh, another update. I haven't found the uh, this kid's uh, Minchino. So maybe we can uh, do the Minchino now. Maybe. Because this is our end game. Why don't we check the stadium first? Because I saw there's fountains. There's one. Oh, there's an item over there that I missed. 
we can go over here to this one. Right? Oh, three burn hills. Why did I say that sounds so weird? What? Wait, 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 more? That's the... This is sound. Let's whistle. Ah! The Mincino is here. That's lucky. That's the first fountain we've checked. The Mincino went back to the boy. Okay. There's another side to the fountain. This is the fountain I originally saw. Here we go. Oh, there's an item here. A rappel. Very nice. All right. Let's go back to the kid. Let's see what he'll give us. By the way, I actually changed the color of uh, my uh, bi bike outfit. Originally, it was like red and blue and yellow. Now it's uh, light blue and uh, darker blue-gray. Mincino came back. Thanks for helping me find it. Please take this. It's my way of saying thank you. Ah, ball of throat spray. What is this for? Raises special attack when a Pokemon uses a sound-based move. Oh. So, uh, what's that move you call? Uh, anyway, now that we've got that, I guess we can go to the hotel. Here we go. Oh, it's Marnie, right? It is Marnie. Uh, Challenger Steno, right? Out giving it your all, even this late, huh? Hey, help with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Alright, let's... You wanna battle me? Wicked! Got some fight in you, huh? Alright. We're battling Marnie for the first time. Pokemon Trainer Marnie. Is she the same age as us? A Krogong first. What is the weak- Oh! We should have gotten in uh, Hatena first, so it's psychic. I feel awful if I lose, but there's no way I'm gonna. Right. Uh, why don't we bring out Hatena? Because uh, poison or weak against psychic? Yeah, let's go. Ooh, she has some nice tunes. Nice trainer battle tunes. Hatena looks really cute. Revenge. Okay, but we didn't attack. So, yeah, that's going to be weak. Let's go for a Psybeam. Now, hopefully this... Ooh, Sucker Punch. This Dark Move. I knew it. It's our weakness. Go Psybeam. Hopefully a One Bang. It is a One Bang. Very nice. Train them myself. Right. Um, we got not much XP as I expected. It's a Pokemon. A Scraggy. Isn't Scraggy a water... Uh, I mean, not a water type. Let's see, I don't know what Scraggy is. Maybe we could uh, pull out Dreadnought or Applin. Is he's a... What, wasn't he ground or something? Let's let's go for Dreadnought. Okay, Hatena came back. Go Dreadnought. We can see the team yell behind. <laughs> okay, Scraggy. Let's see if this will work. All her Pokemon seems to have been caught with Dusk Ball. Hmm, interesting. At least with uh, Dredno, we have four types of attacks. There's Water, Rock, Dark, and Fighting. At least we know which one to use. Let's go with Water first. Let's see if this will uh, work. No, not her, not uh, Scraggy's weakness. Ooh, but Low Kick is her weakness. Maybe this guy is fighting. I don't know. Maybe? Let's go for a Rock Tomb. Let's see. Okay, Scraggy is, Scraggy is fighting. Now we know. Should have gotten with Corvusquire. Ah! Don't die, Dreadnought. We need you for the XP of that, so let's go for Corvusquire. Now we know that Scraggy is fighting. Let's go Corvusquire. And before that, Corvusquire is actually rock, not <laughs> fighting. Okay, but he did uh, do a low kick. Let's go with a pluck. Let's see. Oh, Scraggy is indeed fighting. I think Scraggy's Gen 5? A Gen 5 Pokemon. A few Pokemon. Got 263. More Pekko. I don't know. Uh, let's go for Electric to Electric. Because More Pekko is Electric, I know. This is. More Pekko is the Pikachu of this generation. And let's see. We got our Toxtricity. It'd be no fun if things ended just yet. That's why we aren't giving up. Okay. For more Peko. Uh, let's go for Acid. This is electricity. 
Hmm, I think this move expresses my feelings. What do you think? Bite. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. She wants to bite me? That's her. That's what she said. Her feelings. But anyway. <laughs> there we go. We've got our shell bell healing us. Maybe I should change it to leftover. Ooh, what's this? Um, did she just change it to a dark Pokemon? Maybe. I don't know. Go for acid. Feel good. Our shell bell he healing us. I guess we should change the shell bell to leftovers since we got leftovers already. Let's go for a uh, spark. This is the last attack. Ooh, she used a super potion. We might have to use that acid again. Twice, I guess. Ooh, that spark was strong. Even though it's not very effective. Is it every turn more peckle changes to uh, this sinister looking more peckle? <laughs> and is uh does this form have a better attack stat? I don't know. Maybe. I haven't seen more peckle in the wild, but I'm interested in catching a more peckle. Let's go for a spark. That speed is very eh, almost. But uh, we've defeated more peckle. Hopefully that's her last Pokemon. Is this her last Pokemon? But we're still healing. Maybe she has one more. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, XP points. Ooh, we've defeated Marnie. You beat me. Guess you must not be too bad after all, huh? Oh, uh, she looks uh, sad after that. 6,000 P. She's rich F. <laughs> Guess I better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get to sleep too. <laughs> right? Okay. Da -da -da. Okay, we've healed. Uh, the Pokemon's were healed, thankfully. We're at the hotel again. The next morning. Ooh, Marnie's still waiting. Morning, Steno. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Kabu's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed, it's no big deal. Ooh, we've got Kabu's lead card. Take this too, a little something for our battle yesterday. Ooh, two burn heals. Now I won't need to buy burn heals since I got three and two, now I got seven. Man on fire, Kabu chap, right? Why don't you get over to Motostoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? Alright. She's really kind. I quit my job so I could watch the gym challenge. That's very dangerous for you, sir. <laughs> um, since we're going to the gym challenge, we could swap Dreadnought already, but uh, we only have Dreadnought to challenge the gym. Hmm. Oh, we could use Flying. This fire is weak against Flying as well. So yeah, let's go. Challenge the gym. Oh, you're that challenger. Uh, everyone's talking about. Oh, Kabu's a strong trainer, that's for sure. It looks like I'm quite popular. You're gonna face... Why did I sound Western there? <laughs> You're gonna face Kabu. Well, good luck. Okay, go all out. And Pokeballs, Great Balls. Is he selling Pokeballs? I don't know. Oh, it's Hop. Please, no battle, Hop. No more battles first. Slow moving, aren't you, Steno? I've already gone and earned my Fire Badge. That man of fire, Kabu, is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Mm -hmm. Get a shift on, Steno. I bet you could beat the man of fire too. Man of fire or man of fire, I don't know. Right, let's enter the gym. I actually like Moto Stoke City, but out of all the towns, Hullbury's winning me so far. Hop is inside again. What? I thought you left already. Hey, I said I was on fire in my battle against that Kabu. Okay, let's uh, talk to the receptionist. Hey, a gym challenger. That's a welcome sight. We don't have too many challengers since our leader Kabu has made his gym mission so hard, but I'll ha be happy to get you registered at once. I am ready. If you're here to challenge our gym, we'll ask you to change into your uniform first. All right, let's get into our gear. Okay. Ooh, I really love this gear. You may find the Fire Gym's mission a bit different than others you've faced. In you go. Alright then. Oh, that's a nice logo. It's It looks Japanese. 
Ooh, it is. It looks really different. Is it like a obstacle course? Here we go. We're gonna talk to that man who records the gym or something. Here we go. The gym mission for the fire gym is this: catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do, and try to take the best action to rack up points. Okay, so we need to, uh, gym mission start. Right, so we need to, uh, catch Pokemon. I can see a Vulpix there. Let's battle you. Your target is a wild Pokemon. Don't concern yourself with the other trainers. Oh, sorry. So let's catch this Vulpix then. There we go. We need to catch the Pokemon. Okay, so there's two of us. Alright. Okay, I think I'm gonna knock out the Pokemon if I do this. Oh, I can't select <laughs> the Roly Coly. I wanna attack Roly Coly. Let's go with Vulpix then. Water gun. There we go. Uh, Incinerate. Vulpix used Incinerate on both of us. Not very effective for me. Ooh. Yeah, Steam Engine. That's a nice perk. Holy Coly use Tackle. Not so much. Uh, what if I knock out... <laughs> what if I knock out the teammate? Let's see what will happen. Oh, he... What's it? Alright, let's see what will... <laughs> is this even uh, the right way? <laughs> I just knocked out my uh, partner's uh, Pokemon. <laughs> but I don't want him uh, catching it or uh, or uh, defeating it. Because I... Oh, he has a Growly. Alright. Set he on. I'm going to use a... Let's go use a Pokeball in this Vulpix. We need to catch them, I heard. One. Two. Three. Are we catching it? Yes, we've caught it. Nice. We don't have a Vulpix, so it, if this adds to our decks, very well then. We have a Vulpix now. And all we need is a Firestone to evolve it into a Ninetales. Very simple. Okay, we got it in our decks. Ooh, we do keep the Pokemon, right? So nice, we keep the Vulpix. Challenger Steno claims two points. Alright, that's very nice. Any Pokemons here? Ooh, I see a Litwick. Let's catch that Litwick. Alright. Ooh, a Sizzly Pea. Alright. Um, I'm going to go for a Water Gun on Sizzly Pea. <laughs> I just don't want competition. Okay. Sizzly Pea use... Ooh! Flash Fire. Not the best idea. Ooh, okay. Very nice. Go with Sizzly Pete again. Okay. Taking out the competition. You know. Litwick used Hex. Okay. Our Dreadnought can survive that. Ooh, a Salandit. This guy has a Salandit. Or girl. Let's go uh, for Salandit. <laughs> Am I doing it right? I actually don't know if I'm doing the gym challenge right. We go not very effective oh but i'm poisoned why he used hex on salandit thank you for finishing off that salandit okay i do i don't get uh experience points for that now that she doesn't have a pokemon let's go for litwick i use a water gun because i want to catch this there we go very nice uh, Litwick used Fire Spin. You can survive that. Thank you very much. Poison hurts us. And next is the Fire Spin. That's a strong damage from... Ooh, that's very strong damages. We don't want that. Hopefully this Pokeball will end all our troubles. Okay. Broke free. We need maybe to use the Great Ball. No! But everything is going to kill Dread, no? Now Dreadnought's painted. Let's use... Let's use Carv... Uh, let's use Applin, actually. Let's use Applin, because Applin's defense is a bit high. 
So he might be able to withstand some of the attacks. Oh wait, we're in a fire gym and he's fire. I mean, he's grass. I'm using the wrong typing here. But let's go for a revive for Dreadnought. We don't want that XP going to waste. Confuse Ray, that is very fine. Because we're going to throw a great ball at this Litwick. Now we're confused. Our Applin is confused. Let's go for a great ball. Hopefully this will end our troubles. One, two, three. We caught it. Yes, we did. Very well. Okay. Uh, our Raboot has leveled up. And Corvus Squire is next. Probably the next one. I think we got we got two points from this one. Now we got Litwick. Send to the box. Challenger Steno has already claimed himself four points. Oh, just one more victory. Really? We've got four points. Who's that? Is that a... Oh, it's a Sizzlypede. Maybe you need to knock out the trainer. Mm, maybe that's what we need to do. Let's go for this uh, Sizzlypede. We need to knock out the trainer first, then uh, catch the Pokemon. Ooh, a Salandit. Got our Dreadnought. Oh, we forgot to put potion on our Dreadnought. Let's go for a uh, Rock Tomb on Salandit. Salandit used to fake out. Wait, what? Salandit used... Yeah, Salandit used fake out on me. Oh, so that's how we're gonna play it. Let's go with a Rock Tomb. There we go, Salandit's down. Okay, Sisley Pete used by it. Maybe we need to use a super potion. Uh, oh, okay. We're still alive, so let's go for a water gun on the Sisley Pete. There we go. Oh, okay, very nice. He used coil. What does this do? Okay, his uh, attack rose and defense rose. Accuracy rose as well, that's a very good move. Let's go for a Pokeball. Let's catch this uh, Sizzly Peed. One, two, three rolls. And we caught it? Yes, we did. I thought it was going to go out because it took quite a bit to uh, say that caught screen. Now that Corvus Christ is level 31 as well, we have we can focus on Dreadnought, Toxtricity. Actually, Applin and Hatena needs to uh, pick up the pace here in terms of leveling up. Uh, no. Let's send it to the box. Let's see. Congratulations on another mission cleared. Right, so we did. Clearing leader Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader, the leader, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. Right, nice. But well, we need to heal our Pokemon first. Um, let's give toxicity. Oh, not Toxtricity. Dreadnought, some Super Potions. Right, that's 86. We can uh, hand over a potion as well. So it's fully healed. Nice. Alright, uh, let's save first. Before anything, I don't want to... Um... Right, as you do. Let's go. How many Pokemon... They really don't show how many Pokemon the trainer has already. Why that? Why is that? Right? Oh, Kabu is here. He's like a ninja. Right? We and we went out the same tunnel. Ooh, you can see Kabu has that uh is that a cologne or something? Perfume. And he has a sis uh sizzly bead on the poster there as well. Okay. This is intense, you know. Fire gym leader. Welcome, I am Kabu, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's Grass-type Pokemon and Nessus Water-types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Ooh, I like the design of the stadium here. It's not like your normal a green grass-type, like a football field. It has a red vinyl or something. Here we go. 
Oh, he has three Pokemon. You can actually see. But he set out Nine Tails first. Here we go, Dreadmill. You can do this. All right. We can use our what should we call it? Our Dynamax. Let's go for a Rock Tomb. Lower Nine Tails is uh, what was lower than Rock Tomb? Speed. There we go. Ember. Not very. Ooh, three. That's this is a good sign that Dreadnought's going to ease this battle. Go for a Water Gun. Here we go. Very nice. Nine Tails is down. Now, uh, Dreadnought is level 31, as well as Toxtricity. Very nice. As you do. Arcanine. Let's not switch our Pokemon. We'll do the Rock Tomb again. The Rock Tomb tactic. Okay. Oh, we've got Intimidate. So, is this physical? Rock Tomb is physical, but Water Gun is not. But, anyhow, let's go with the Rock Tomb. Because it's a much more powerful attack. And the speed lower as you attack. There we go. Speed lowered. Ooh, Arcanine use agility. Evasiveness or speed? Speed. Okay. Let's go for another Rock Tomb. Because why not? Ooh, Will-O-Wisp. We need to get rid of this Will-O-Wisp as soon as his... Uh, after we defeat Arcanine. What? It missed. Okay, let's go for another Rock Tomb. There we go. Bye. Not what we want. Oh, we're flinched and we're burned. Uh, I guess this is the tactic of this gym leader. Flinch and burn. I know it. He's gonna do for fight as well. Come on, don't... Ah! Oh, Dreadnought's flinching. And this burn as well. This is a tactic uh, some of my friends used before. Ah, oh, not again. Don't flinch. There we go. Rock Tomb. Now Arcanine's down. What? Not yet? Come on. What is this? Okay, we might need to get rid of that. Um, let's go for a bag. Um, let's go for a burn heal. Where, there you are. Burn heal. Let's heal up Dreadnaw. And we'll go for a super potion after. There we go. Use agility. You know what? Let's end Arcanine. Let's end Arcanine. Let's go for a water gun. Come on. Oh, don't flinch. There we go. Very nice. Arcanine's down. And we are down to Kabu's last Pokemon. We need to replenish Dreadnought's health in order for Dreadnought to stay afloat in this battle. Senti Scorch. No, let's not. This is. Oh, that's the evolution of Sislipede. Senti Scorch. There we go. Ah, Senti Scorch. She's gonna do the. Uh, ooh, it looks like a. It's wor it's a worm, but it looks like a. It looks like that dragon from Mulan. <laughs> the guy's name Wushu, I believe. Anyway, let's go for a super potion on Dreadnought. La, la, la. All right. There we go. Burn bright, Senti Scorch. Let Gigantamax change your size and your form. I thought it's called Dynamax. Why is it now Gigantamax? Oh, ooh, we saw that fire in uh, Kabu's eyes when he threw that. There you go. A very long tapeworm. Oh, okay. All right. Is that Max Flutter by? Is it, this a bug? Okay, that's that's a bug move. Interesting. Oh no, our special attack has fallen. Let's fight. Let's go for Dynamax. But too bad I'm not using a special attack. I'm using a rock type move. Hopefully this will end uh, Senti Scorch. Here we go. Alright. Alright, Dreadnought. This is all yours. Nice. Right? What's going to happen now? Where's my attack? There we go. Max Rock Fall. Ooh. A large slab of stone just fall. Ooh! It's just a one bang on Senti Scorch. Very nice. Very well done, Dreadnought. Ooh. 
Uh, why is there a sandstorm? Oh, because of the attack. Ooh, that must be thrilling for the crowd. A sandstorm whipped up after the battle. Or once I used my attack. There we go. Very nice. Oh, you please. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. 4,300. Marnie gives out more money than uh, the gym leaders. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talents surpassed my, my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. Okay. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. Right. Very nice. Okay, so it's an addition. Ooh, it's a bit of the centerpiece. Fire badges. You can now catch Pokemon of up to level 35. Nice. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible to, for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. That's a nice line. Okay. Stano, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Dreadnought would be the ones, but still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. Oh, so he watched. With the guy. Challenger Steno, I see you've done a fine job collecting collecting? Collecting the gym badges from the grass water and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you've accomplished here today. Got Willow Wisp. Alright. Uh, the user shoots a sinister flame at the target to inflict a burn. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. Very nice. We've got a fire uniform. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you. Starting in the city of Hammerlock. Ooh. Head back down into the wild area surrounding this city, then make your way to Hammerlock. Okay, we're going to Hammerlock. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Alright. Uh, very nice. Let's go heal up our Pokemon and buy some supplies with the money that we've got. Right, what can we find outside? Ooh, it's Hop again. Alright. He just ran. And am I running with him towards the exit? Maybe I am. Hurry it up, Steno. Okay. Huh? Oh, it's Kabu. You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off. Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I'll make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Okay, very nice. Oh, it's the other gym leaders. We made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Steno, hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, hustle, hop. You can do it, you can do it, Steno. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, okay. The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're just we're gonna keep winning. We've got to if we want to we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Zeno, let's head to Hammerlock. Right. I guess we aren't we are in the wild area. Going to the wild area, but where is this hammerlock? He's just running. Oh, it's nighttime already. Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Seno, Hammerlock is up that way. Got it? Okay. There we go. A brief area. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. Oh, I guess that's... Oh, yeah, that's Hammerlock. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the Tale of My Legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. Oh no, it's this guy Bead. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. 
I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a bo Pokeball properly. Rubbish. More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the frith. Is the furnace the finest champion the world has ever seen? I'm not gonna listen to you insulting him. How oh, tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then. I know you challenged Seno to battle in Galar Mine number 2 and lost to him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Seno and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. So see you later, Seno. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like while you're at it. And I will hope to see you again soon in my playthrough of Pokemon Shield.